It's time for Adventure Arkansas. Brought to you by Fayetteville's Adventure Subaru. I mean, I could. I could spend every day out on the water. Janet Huckabee Nature Center educator Karen Westcamp Johnson steers our group along the sixth longest river in the United States. The neat thing to me about the, the river tours or getting people out on the water is most people don't have boats of their own. You know, most of them have never had an opportunity to do something like this. And it gets them out to see the river, to see the sites, and to learn about just, you know, the river itself, the navigation, the history. And, I mean, besides, it's just beautiful and peaceful on the river. The Arkansas River starts in Colorado, but only becomes navigable for barges starting at the Port of Catoosa in Tulsa. A series of 18 locks and dams were built by the Corps of Engineers in the early 1970s. This allows raw materials to flow on barges through the 445-mile river network to the Mississippi River. One, one barge can hold about as much cargo as 65 semi-trucks, so 15 would hold about as much as 1,000. With all the weight, Bala Shander, visiting from New York, was astounded to see that the process to raise and lower the heavy barges is relatively simple. I always thought the locks and dams need a lot of power and energy because you're raising the water levels 18, 20 feet. Uh, so you thought it requires a lot of you know, electricity and so on and so forth. But it's purely mechanical. You're using gravity to move water from a higher level to lower level. As we travel through James W. Trimble Lock and Dam 13 near Barling, educator Kendra Engel explains that the dam is used for more than just transporting up and downstream. But it also allowed us to kind of control and manage in those um, natural disaster situations and uh, be able to slow down the water and, and hopefully not devastate downstream. In addition to managing flooding, the dam also turns the mighty flow of the river into power through the hydroelectric plant. However, for Bala, the most powerful aspect of the Arkansas River is just in its size. I've never, you know, just to see a river so wide and so long, you know, from the source um, and all the other environmental benefits of uh, having a river like this is, you know, it's really a great thing. For this week's Adventure Arkansas, along the Arkansas River, I'm meteorologist Sean Bailey.